Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel on this Sunday. Match day, big clash versus Roma, it will be a test, a more difficult game than versus Sampdoria, so I'm really excited to see the game this evening, this night. So let's see what the Italian and international papers are saying about our beloved Juventus. Yesterday, unfortunately, I was not able to do the papers video. I'm really sorry about that, but that doesn't mean that I didn't look at the front pages and at the papers of the Saturday. Yes, because the Suarez affair, I was not sleeping about that because all the papers, especially Corriere and Gazzetta dello Sport, they were already sending us in second division in Serie B because Juventus was cheating. One day it was Paratici interception, then the telephone uh, interception of Rubini, everyone was involved, Juventus was cheating, blah 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 blah, big titles with big pictures on the paper, so let's see yesterday, what did they say about us before going into the news of today, because it's important, today we will speak about lineups, we will speak about Mercato, we will speak about a lot of things, so remain, remain until the end of the video, so starting with the papers of yesterday, Corriere, uh, let's see, uh, sorry that I'm not looking at you, but I'm looking at the paper, I try to find where they are speaking about that Suarez affair. Not here, not in the big page. Fiducia Fonseca, trust in Fonseca, blah blah blah. Oh, I found it. Really tiny, tiny, really small. They are saying fuga di notizie, stop inchiesta cantone. Indignato. They are saying that uh, uh, the affair, the investigation is stopped at the moment. It's crazy because the affair is stopped because of the leak. The leak of those telephone interceptions are not legal because normally uh, you have to keep the secret. So that's really important in terms of law. Those interviews were leaked. So at the moment, everything is stopped. It's strange that they don't speak about it in the big, t in the big titles. Let's see Gazzetta. Are they saying that the uh, interview, the investigation is stopped? Really curious. So let's see. Conte second. Uh, the revenge, yeah, okay, Giampaolo versus Gasperini, the beautiful game, by the way, uh, Torino lost 2-4 uh, uh, versus Atalanta, then they are speaking about Kulusevski and uh, uh, Juventus, uh, oh, look, two really tiny small uh, sentences, Suarez stop to the investigation, too much leaks of the news, that's what they are saying, really small, you really need a microscope to find it, Tutto Sport is, uh, uh, yes, they are speaking a bit more about it, because they are putting immediately on the right, Suarez with the mask, so we know that they will speak about it, and then in a sense they are saying, um, uh, at the moment, the secret uh, has been violated. They couldn't uh, leak all the news. So this is a bit what uh, Tuto Sport is saying. So recapping and then we close that affair because I'm tired of it. Uh, all the papers, especially Corriere dello Sport and Gazzetta and then Corriere della Sera and so on and so on. They were speaking a lot about Juve in big titles. Remember, yellow font with uh, red, uh, uh, written with re uh, red typo, everything. Now that nothing is happening, now that the uh, investigation stopped, they don't even speak about it. So for me, again, this is a manipulation of the mass people that doesn't read all the papers and all the small letters. They don't see that at the moment Juventus has nothing to do with it. I stop about it and now we speak about today, today, because there is a big match. Yesterday there was a press conference of Pirlo, Andrea Pirlo. Uh, yesterday I made also a live, I explained uh, step by step everything what he said, plus my opinion, so if you didn't have the opportunity to see it, go back, because it's already online. But yesterday one thing that he said that was really important, he said we changed the workload and tra training methodology. Despite the nine Scudetti, I see that the team shows that they want to improve, and that looks good for the future. The boys got back into the game with enthusiasm. Really nice words. Uh, I'm happy about that because if you don't want to, you cannot. So this is for me the most important thing. Then he spoke about Dybala and Morata. He was not sure if uh, he would uh, um, call them up, especially Dybala. But yes, they are both part of the team for the game versus Roma. I don't believe Dybala will start. It will absolutely not start. Maybe he will play a few minutes. 
I don't know, it's a bit uh, rushing, it's a bit too early. Let's wait a bit more, but at least he will be, uh, be there uh, at Rome and we will see him on the bench. Tutor Sport is giving a lineup, changing slightly. So we remain with the three man defense with uh, Chiellini, Bonucci, Dalilo. Then they have, they continue to confirm Frabotta on the left, Rabio, McKenny, Quadrado. So nothing changed there. The only change is that instead of Ramsey, we will see Kulusevski as a number 10, Ronaldo on the left, and Morata. They see Morata immediately playing. Di Marzio and Gazzetta, they are saying that we start with the same 11 as last game. So no change for them, really curious about the lineup, so uh, let's see. Corriere dello Sport, are they speaking about Juventus? Uh, yeah, they're speaking about Zeko, Zeko against everyone. And then they speak that Pirlo in press conference, he said that he was a bit sorry that Zeko couldn't go through. Yes, for sure, it was a negotiation that was really close. He could have been the partner of Cristiano Ronaldo. Instead, he will be the big danger. What is Gazzetta saying? Gazzetta is saying gigante country that means giants versus each other speaking about Ronaldo and Zeko and then in big Inter pazza gioia uh, crazy happiness for them because yesterday they won in the last minute they were losing 3-2 at the end they won 4-2 after a few minutes of Lukaku his first touch didn't get better but at the end he was even able to score Tutto Sport is speaking about hunger the hunger of Juve fama, ju fame Juve the, uh, in reporting the word of Pirlo in the press conference of yesterday saying that there is a lot of hunger in the team what are they saying about Inter screaming Inter screaming Inter uh, because of the one uh, the win of yesterday and I have to say the one that was screaming it was not Inter uh, but it was probably Ribéry after the big fall of Barella in the really beginning they were already losing 1-0 at the third minute I believe at the seventh or eighth minute there was a big big fall of Barella uh, this for me it's a red a red without any hesitation that could have changed the game probably if we we really gave the red card Barella was not there they were playing in 10 they were already losing 1-0 and that could have changed everything so I just I, I say nothing because you know the the mistakes happen for one team for another but it's already 1-0 for Inter in terms of uh, mistakes in favor of the team and then Fiorentina Comiso the president of Fiorentina yesterday he said Chiesa, let's see, let's see next week, everything can happen, so he's not confirming him at Fiorentina, he's not selling him, but he's saying that the door is open, you know that Juventus is on the player, they have a plan for him, not sure if we will go through, but uh, Comiso yesterday said, wait a bit and we will see, by the way, Chiesa, you know that I'm not a big fan of it, but yesterday he played an amazing game, Genoa, Genoa, they confirmed Pellegrini and Mirko Di Natale was saying, nothing to see with his bad character with his bad personality but uh, Pirlo said in press conference that uh, we loaned him out because he needed playing time and at Juventus he would have been actually a sub of Alexandro the guy deserved to be a starter and that's why he was loaned out there were some offers from Ramsey but at the moment all the offers were really low and Pirlo want to keep him he really wants to keep him and when we finish with the last news Rugani there is some a uh, big concrete interest by uh, West Ham. West Ham that in the past already bought from Juve, if you remember uh, Ogbonna, Angelo Ogbonna also a defender, they are looking now for Rugani, Juventus want at least 20 million but West Ham at the moment they are not ready to give that moment, so at the moment it's stagnate, let's see if it will accelerate in the next day. That was it for me guys, we give uh, a meeting this evening uh, in the break of the, the half time of the game so that we can go live and we can give our first impression and then at full time to go for, for a full debrief thank you consider to subscribe to the channel if you are convinced about the channel thank you for putting a maximum of like and as always forza juve